Oh, okay, so the first card is the bridge, successfully overcoming any problems that you might be having. So that's a good thing. And you've got the valley. There's deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So you are getting to a phase where you are becoming successful and you're overcoming some problems. You've got the goldfish coming in as well. So there's an increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. So whatever hard work you're doing, you're now crossing the problem uh, and getting into a point where you're getting some financial remuneration for it. So in the past, you've got the bread card, which is a period of prosperity and abundance. So things did have looked up for you in the last few months and this is followed by taking a vacation physically or mentally so you are a bit stressed out you do need a vacation if you haven't taken one yet you do need to take one uh, so going to the future you've got use your intuition to make a beneficial change the unicorn so you need to act on your instincts and uh, scorpio does have really good instincts so you do, do need to use that and you need to become a goal-oriented person. So make sure you have a goal or a target that you're working towards. Trust your intuition to find that target. Uh, and, and it will direct you on how to um, actually get what you want. So you need to go deep. Look for that uh, intuition uh, to guide you on how to proceed forward. And you are now going to be successful in overcoming any kind of problems with this bridge card. Okay, so the main energies is the Knight of Swords. So somebody bringing some information, maybe somebody you don't really get along with, giving you a bit of grief over here, because they seem to have taken the sword and put it right in this tree. So it seems like, you know, they are there threatening your stability, your security, threatening your growth, really. And they seem to be doing it, you know, the Knight of Swords, he comes in very quickly, uh, a bit of a troublemaking person, uh, the Knight of Swords usually is. It could be a bit of information in itself that comes, um, that he brings, or this could be an actual person or could just be the energy of the information coming in. But something very coming very, very quickly and threatening your security. So just be aware of that. Uh, this could be a very aggressive person because they, uh, you know, they move quickly, they talk quickly, and, you know, they could be very, very hostile. So be aware that this person is uh, the energy that is coming in. So what's going on for you? You've got the beginning of a new project. Um, you know, you may have had uh, a little bit of financial um, or, you know, loss going on here. Um, so you've got a new project that's beginning with the Ace of Rods over here and it's coming in as an announcement. Um, so something brand new beginning and, you know, uh, maybe a new um, a new job. It could be new finance coming in, but definitely new money coming in over here. Uh, so you got coming through a period of lack, you know, where you're actually scraping the barrel, bottom of the barrel over here. Now you have people that are helping you. Uh, uh, but you know, it's your little cup is not quite reaching the end of a year. So there is a bit of, uh, you know, you're going through a little bit of a difficult period right now and you are getting support from people around you. Um, you, you also might be going into the past looking for solutions to any kind of problems that you have. Uh, but you are dealing with, um, you know, a situation where you, it, it's making you a bit uh, upset. Um, you know, the five of cups is usually a card of mourning. Uh, but in this deck, it's about, um, you know, asking people around you for help and actually trying to go into the past and looking for answers to solutions to your problems. Uh, from, it seems like you've been going through this uh, problem of lack right now and this new uh, announcement or this new job or this new project that you're doing now is going to be something that takes you out of the situation. So even though you've been going through this problem, it looks like whatever comes in with this ace of um, mistletoe or ace of rods is going to be something that actually alleviates the problem and and uh, sorts it out so whatever you've been upset about uh it seems like the ace of rods comes in and brings a new healing energy that takes you out of that particular problem so you've got the ten of swords over here the end of a cycle uh, you know there might be a, been a case where there was a lot of betrayal loss you might be, have been working for somebody that was really um very pushy, somebody who, uh, you know, took advantage of you and, you know, required for you to work extremely hard, uh, bullied you, um, you know, like, um, this person was, uh, very much, um, somebody that was very in charge, uh, who's, um, a tyrant. That's the word I was looking for. So you've been working for somebody who is very much a tyrant, somebody who's who has got everybody down on their knees and making everybody do uh, their bidding and not listening to anybody. So that seems to be uh, the case uh, for the last year. You know, it's almost um, uh, working for, for somebody who expects everything but doesn't give you much in return. So in the past uh, three months, it looks like there's been some peace and harmony back in your life, uh, again, with this Ace of Cups coming in and, uh, uh, you know... Uh, um, 
some kind of healing that has taken place as well. So a uh, balance being achieved again with this Ace of Cups. And that's coming in this last few months. Now you are feeling extremely tired, uh, drained, um, you know, overworked, like you've been through a battle. You can see with his Four of Swords, this man looks like he's he's re really been through the mill. He, he's, his clothes are torn and he is just on his last leg. And that's probably how you feel about the work that you've been doing. Uh, very battered and, and, you know, very overworked and very tired and looks like you do absolutely need a break. You could be going through some sort of illness at this moment as well that is causing some kind of, uh, you know, physical distress as well. So it looks like these are also stress-related illnesses and you really do need to get some rest. <coughs> you need to take a break. Now, you're very, very worried about money. You seem to be balancing um, your finances over here. Uh, maybe whatever you're earning is not paying you enough because you can see this man's work is not uh, equivalent to the amount of money he's getting. He's putting in a lot of effort, but he's not getting very well paid. And you are very, very worried about money and you're very, very worried about your spending. Um, so you're trying to achieve balance in your life. You are trying to do that with this temperance card. You're trying to take things easy. Uh, you know, you're trying to recover from any health, health problems that you've had. Um, you know, and you know, you, maybe you're hoping that somebody would look after you really uh, in this time. So you're trying to achieve that kind of balance. But it looks like with this temp temperance card, you know, you need to, to get some healing. You need to take some time out. You need to de-stress. You need to get that balance back in your life because it doesn't seem like uh, that's happening right now. And this is probably why the temperance card is coming to your person, you know, what you're thinking about. So underlying energies that you know that you are getting maybe a bit ill, especially when you're feeling so, you know, down and out, uh, it looks like the temperance card is coming in and advising that you really do desperately need to take a little bit of a break and recharge your batteries or you know this could end up being something bigger than what it is um, now people see you as somebody that is very supportive they see you as the king of uh, rods uh, somebody who is uh, compassionate uh, but also in authority because you can see this king you know they've laid uh, down this mistletoe at his feet so he is somebody who gives the orders and it gets done it's also a card of achievement achieving whatever you want they are seeing you as somebody who's very stable you've got this big tree over here and in charge and a, a very proactive person with this nice red cloak over here um, but uh, you know, somebody who also um, they respect. So this is how people see you are, uh, are looking at you. What you want, you have a goal in mind. You have been making plans for the future here with nine of pentacles. So you have a vision and, you know, you're going for it. You want that financial independence and you want that abundance. And you've got some a lot of plans for the future and how you're going to achieve it. So going into the future, you've got the Knave of Pentacles, you've got the King of Cups, and you've got the Five of Rods. Uh, so with the um, Knave of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles, you have a plan in place and you're putting it down. So you're trying to start off this plan. You can see there's the, the egg that he's putting it into the furrow, almost trying to grow it. So you have, you're working on something at the moment. You're putting a lot of effort. You've got a lot of oxen over here in the background over here. So putting a lot of effort into this project that you have. And, you know, a lot of hard work is going in it uh, to make it uh, come to fruition. And what's happening, uh, there is, um, you know, um, you might, with the King of uh, Cups, it always talks about, you know, um, uh, receiving uh, a lot of recognition. Somebody has a lot of respect for you. There's also somebody that's very supportive. The King of Cups is generally your card, uh, Scorpio, because it is um, um, the water sign um, and it is the king. So you are taking on that role. Maybe you are nurturing something. Maybe you are in charge of a lot of people and they have a lot of respect for you. You can see these people on their knees having a lot of respect for you. Um, this could also mean that you might need to consult um with somebody who is a physician, maybe you're having some health issues uh, and you might need to go and get some advice or you might need to get some treatment. So that also could well be in, um, around. So uh, here people are you know, having a lot of respect, a lot of accolades, but also you need to take care of your health uh, if you're having any problems and maybe you might need to seek some, some uh, kind of um, medical input as well. 
this could also mean you know getting counseling something of a professional nature but it, it you know if it's if it's pertaining to your health if you are feeling very run down or you're feeling ill this might be a time for you to actually seek some sort of medical advice or seek some sort of medical consult now you've got the five of um rods over here or five of mistletoe it looks like whatever you've been doing uh is going to be assessed by people so you're coming up for a job assessment over here where you're going to have to present your work to people uh maybe uh, these are your clients and they are going to be assessing, or maybe this is your boss or somebody that assesses your work and decides what's going to come off it or what they're going to do uh, about it. So uh, that kind of job assessment. So you need to be of good health because you've got two health cards over here. You've got the temperance card and you've got this king of cups over here. So make sure that your health is in order. So make sure that you're taking a little bit of a break. Make sure you get your, you know, if you need any kind of medical advice or medical input, make sure that you're getting it as well uh, because you've got work assessment coming up and it's important that you be on your best health when this comes along uh, so that, you know, you're not stressed out when you have to present whatever you've been doing. Maybe you've finished a project and now you're presenting this finished project and you don't want to end up being stressed out um, or, or ill during this particular period because you want good assessments and you want people to know that you're capable of doing it. You know, you're not ill or, or you haven't allowed the stress to get to you. So the first card is the Three of Winter, which says... Um, Sadness is part of life, but you don't have to enjoy it alone. You may feel the need uh, to take a little time to heal, but once you work uh, your way through the emotions, uh, you'll be stronger than before. So you are spending a lot of time by yourself, uh, you know, and um, maybe you are going through a little bit of an illness uh, and maybe you are feeling a bit down. So, uh, you know, you need to look out for friends and make sure that you are socializing. Don't isolate yourself because that could only make things uh, worse. Um, and, you know, you have people that are there to support you. So you do need to, to look for friends. The second card is the Princess of Winter, which says, this is an intellectual challenge that calls for your ability to think of a matching solution. If help, if helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being too bothered by the messenger. So some information coming to light here, um, and you know, don't be biased by saying that you don't like the person who brought the message to you. Make sure that you're listening to any kind of information that comes to you because it's going to be really helpful for you. Um, in the future. So ignore the messenger, accept the message and know that this is maybe the solution to the problem that you've been facing. It might be, you know, that little thing that turns, uh, you know, something negative into a positive. And the last one is the King of Autumn, which says this is usually the card of achievement. Everything is going to t uh, turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible and money and resources that come your way uh, will be invested wisely. So the um, king of autumn is like king of pentacles. It's the ultimate money card in the uh, tarot deck. And it is a card that talks about accomplishment, financial wealth, uh, you know, so achievement, um, you know, everything that you've been working towards is coming your way. So um, any information coming to you, make sure that you're using it in order to achieve this uh, king of uh, autumn status. And, you know, your projects look like they are going to be very successful. So you needn't be worried. So any kind of stress that you're going through, you need to sort out any health issues that you have. Make sure that you're dealing with stress by taking a little bit of a break. You don't want to be this rundown where, you know, you look like you've been through the war and back, you know, almost been eaten up and chewed out by a washing machine here. He looks really awful. So you don't end up becoming so tired uh, and so worn out and uh, by the work uh, that you forget about your health. So you need to actually look after yourself and make sure you're taking a break, seeking medical advice if you need to. And this is how you will achieve um, whatever you have set your mind on. And it looks like a lot of financial wealth coming in, uh, stability, uh, allowing you to move uh, in the direction that you want to. 